this story is born out of a dream almost 200 years ago. This dream was to change the life of Giovanni Bosco and of future generations of young people. Born of a poor peasant family, at the age of nine, Giovannino dreamt of becoming an acrobat, a magician, a juggler. And by entertaining his peers, he would try to keep them out of trouble. This was a life-changing dream. At the age of 20, Giovanni goes to seminary, and after six years of hard study, he is ordained Don Bosco. In the meantime, the Industrial Revolution was disheveling the entire world. Poverty spread widely everywhere, and unemployment reached its highest peak. Immigrants from the countryside would come to the city in search of fortune, living in rundown houses in the most impoverished suburbs. Those who were able to find a job were to be exploited inhumanely. Prisons were overcrowded with youths with no future. Don Bosco encountered this tragic reality and understood his mission. To find work for the unemployed, to fight in order to improve workers' conditions, to teach to read and write to the least fortunate, to give new hope based on the faith in God. This soon became his only passion, and the young people around him became his family. He welcomes the poor and abandoned, sets up a small Sunday open-air oratory for playing and studying. And when he finally finds an indoor place for his oratory, he also begins setting up the first handcraft workshops in a very small place in Valdoco, in the municipality of Turin. He begins personally to teach the crafts of tailor, shoemaker, bookbinder. He passes on to his youths the practical skills he himself had learned. Baby. And so amongst a thousand struggles and surrounded by the indifference and hostility of public institutions, the first laboratories of shoemaking, bookbinding, printing, garage mechanics, tailoring and carpentry are born. Don Bosco himself seeks jobs for his pupils, demanding the employers to sign a contract of apprenticeship, binding them to teach their skills and craft, whilst allowing the boys to save some money for their future. Non voglio che lavorino più di otto ore al giorno. Otto ore? Ma state scherzando? Dappertutto se ne lavorano dodici, padre. Come minimo. Nella nostra tipografia sarà diverso. Vi chiedo solo di firmare questo contratto di apprendistato che ho preparato per voi. Lavorando più serenamente, i ragazzi renderanno di più. Don Bosco succeeds in building a family-based education system founded on three key human values. Reason, religion, kindness. It is a preventive system, a new way of educating young people whereby mistakes are not punished but rather prevented from occurring both in the present and in the future, in full respect of the individual's greatness and vulnerability, as well as his dignity as a human being. Io voglio che la nostra famiglia diventi sempre più numerosa e unita e soprattutto voglio che continui ad esistere anche quando non ci sarò più è arrivato per tutti noi il momento di crescere e di costituirci ufficialmente chiedendo l'approvazione della Santa Sede e così in onore di San Francesco di Sales che ci protegge ho deciso che ci chiameremo Salesiani Thus, in 1859, the Salesian Congregation for the Education and Training of Young People officially came into being. It was run by a group of priests and clerical workers, or rather lay believers, specialized in professional training. After working in Italy, Don Bosco set up Salesian houses in Spain and France, soon after the missionaries set off for Argentina, Uruguay, Africa, spreading their work all over the world. On this desk, over 150 years ago, Don Bosco wrote down the rules on which the future of vocational training in Italy was to be based on. Upon his death, there were already 59 Salesian houses in six countries and 1,049 Salesian priests. Today, there are over 16,000 Salesian priests spread over 128 countries worldwide. But the true mother house is still in its original location, Valdoco, near the Basilica of Santa Maria Ausiliatrice, permanent home to the body of St. John, Don Bosco. Salesian vocational training acquired a structured organization in 1977 with the foundation of the KNOSFAP Federation, the National Center for Salesian Work, professional education and ongoing training. The KNOSFAP is a non-profit organization, a common law association focusing on coordinating the Salesians in Italy in their work as tutors, teachers and professional coaches. The aim is the overall development of the person in accordance with Don Bosco's educational style. The preventive system of the Saint of Labor has become a quality brand for Salesian professional training. 
The CONOSFAP is also a member of CONFAP and of FORMA, the Italian Catholic organization specialized in professional training. The Federation cooperates on the European front with Don Bosco International, an organization uniting the different Salesian institutions for young people. The national headquarters of CONOSFAP is in Rome. Its task is to promote and coordinate activities for the professional development of operators in associated institutions who are assigned positions and areas of expertise through the publication of journals and specialized magazines. It organizes courses and seminars held in associated cultural centers and in the Salesian University of Rome. It also looks after the organization of national conferences. The research seminar, youth and the educational system for vocational training in Italy, for example, involved Monsignor Mariano Crociata, the Secretary General of the Italian Episcopal Conference, the Minister for Youth, Giorgio Meloni, and Don Pasquale Chavez, the Rector Major of the Salesians. Senza la quale difficilmente c'è educazione perché non ci si riuscirà ad aprire mai il cuore dei giovani. At a regional level, the 16 associations operating on the territory provide the Federation with the promotion and coordination of the educational projects. At a local level, the Salesians operate through 60 centers of vocational training called CFPs, spread over 16 regions from Friuli, Venezia, Giulia to Sicily, certified in accordance with the quality standard Uni N ISO 9001. The CONOSFAP offers a training system involving the human being in its entireness, an education system complying with the essential training needs of young people and adults, knowledge, know-how and being. It guarantees the educational rights of the human being, of every human being, throughout their life. The Salesian educational system fosters vocational training based on a specific didactic and methodical journey tailored to the person. The CONOSFAP organizes every year for its students around 2,000 courses, rapidly increasing for a total of 714,000 hours of training, with over 1,500 teachers and over 22,000 participants. A recent survey by the Salesian University highlights that 65% of the participants within one year upon completion of their courses are able to find work in their area of expertise or decide to further their studies. This is probably the reason why the number of young people choosing Salesian vocational training has doubled over the past 10 years. The activities of CNOSFAP are aimed mainly at youths and adults belonging to working class backgrounds and is committed to preventing social disadvantages for the underprivileged, the immigrants, the disabled. It aims at training qualified and educated workers as well as honest citizens and good Christians, living in accordance with the fundamental values of the country's social, civil and spiritual precepts. The CNOSFAP fulfills man's natural desire to further his knowledge and skills throughout his life. This is why it offers permanent vocational training with an innovative approach, such as national and transnational projects, web-based online news and forums, publication of magazines and volumes of specialized journals. The excellence of Salesian education is obtained through the constant coaching of its teachers and updating of the equipment in the training labs. Such excellence is also achieved thanks to specific agreements of cooperation and support with the top companies in the industry. Fiat Group, Schneider Electric, DMG Italia, Siemens, Heidenheim Italia, Piaggio, De Lorenzo, Sandvik Coromant, Microsoft, Feder Meccanica, Aluscuola, Aica, Certipass, ENI, and the enterprises of the Automotive Technological Training Center. This prestigious trophy, the National Prize GPA, established by the Interprofessional Automotive Group and conferred to the professional automotive sector, confirms the success of the combination of education and enterprises fostering knowledge. The close tie with businesses enriches and improves the quality of education. It also increases through work placements within the companies the possibility for young people to find employment. The vocational foundation courses offered by CNOSFAP comply with the educational requirements set out by Italian law. Courses in the Salesian vocational training centers are comparable to traditional education in public and private schools. 
the CFPs offer key skills for citizenship, as well as the technical and professional know-how necessary to enter the world of employment in a professional manner. Subscription to the courses includes an initial stage of orientation, where the person is guided in establishing their inclination and talent, as well as their interests and passions, determining the most suitable area for their future professional development. In the Vocational Foundation courses, the teacher-tutor plays a key role, following the student step by step and supporting him throughout his educational journey, both in class and during the work placements. The courses have a three or four year duration and normally encompass around 3,000 hours in class and labs and 400 hours of work placement in enterprises. Upon completing the course, the students are granted a professional diploma valid within the national boundaries according to European education standards. Currently, the courses available are Electrical System Operator Operator within the Automobile Sector Mechanical Operator Graphics and Multimedia Operator Operator in the Tourism and Hotel Industry Operator in the Service Industry and Personal Service Sector In 2008, an annual competition amongst all Silesian Foundation courses, CFPs, was created. It is the national competition of the masterpieces of the vocational sectors. Non siete qui né per un esame, né per una gara. No, noi siamo qui soprattutto per farvi vivere una bella esperienza di amicizia. It is a test devised and developed with the cooperation and the support of the industry's enterprises, whereby the young can try out the skills acquired during the training journey, pushing themselves further and creating that first masterpiece. The competition lasts a couple of days and is presented in four distinctive stages. Project planning, production, testing and discussion of the work. Each stage is led and supervised by a tutor and a specialized technician both providing guidance and feedback on the work executed. The main goal of the competition is not being the best, but making an effort to be at one's best. Ci saranno, sì, un primo, secondo, terzo, va bene. Però tutti gli altri sono quarti per me. KNOSFAP's Higher Vocational Training is aimed at young people and adults seeking to acquire the specific skills to operate within areas of high technological or organizational complexity, training technicians and professionals at a higher level. The courses in higher technical and educational training are free and last either one or two years. They're conceived so that 30% of the time is to be spent in work placements and a higher technician diploma is granted by the end. In various regions, the KNOSFAP is a partner of the institutions working for the creation of polytechnic high schools. The KNOSFAP's distance learning courses allow people to train and follow refresher courses autonomously at their own convenience, whenever and wherever it suits them. The courses can be followed through different multimedia tools, particularly the internet. E-learning courses range from personal development to computer skills, interpersonal relations and English language courses. They are all accessible through KNOSFAP's portal. KNOSFAP's ongoing training courses address recurrent training and constant professional growth of the individual. The courses vary in length and are aimed at apprentices, employed or unemployed people and those seeking continuous custom-tailored education. The qualification obtained is subject to the type of course selected. Don Bosco would recommend his youngsters to carry out their work well, to be honest citizens and good Christians. 
And this is what Salesian students and ex-students practice every day with passion and constance, making the most of the skills Don Bosco himself defined as handmade intelligence, meaning the ability to achieve through one's own work, one's own human and professional fulfillment. Vado. Vadi. Vai. il CT della squadra elettro vincitore, stravincitore per un anno non ai mondiali e cosa vai. pensa di questa vittoria? Ma io penso che all'inizio contro i meccanici è stato abbastanza semplice però dopo contro i, i grafici abbiamo sofferto molto cosa, a chi, a che ragazza a che ragazza Se dedica a che ragazza dedica questa, questa vittoria? Beh certamente la dedico a mia mamma che le voglio tanto bene non dire balle dai <ride> Basta scuola, volevo fare. 